Hello, everyone. Good evening. Well, good afternoon. It's not even evening yet. Oh, of course, my nose is so itchy. Hello, Loon. How are you? Yes, I've added... There's a bunch of new redeems now. I'm actually... So you can have 50 channel point redemptions. I have 49 currently. Like, we are about at the max of channel point redeems you can have. But I love them all so much. I really, really do. Get fucking stick bugged. Get absolutely stick bugged. Oh, I see. <laughs> right? Right? There's some fun ones in there, though. I like them. I like them. They're probably also marking as new because I changed the prices of some of them around, like, last week or so as well. Um, I made a bunch of the sand redeems cheaper. Which is cool. But how you doing? How are we all? It is almost 4.30 on a Sunday afternoon. I have not done a Sunday stream in a very, very, very long time. Watch party with three people on one TV. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh boy, hello Karma. Hello everyone. 2.23 a.m. Jesus Christ, Loon. Please. You have to be stopped. You have to. Hi Skits, hello. How are we all doing on this wonderful Sunday? I know stream is absolutely a lot earlier than I said it would be. I bet it around seven, thinking that my boyfriend would leave a little bit later in the day, but he ended up leaving a bit earlier, um, just so to give himself time to actually drive out to where he's going, because he hasn't driven out there before, so he wants to make sure that he knows his way and gets there and all that. Um, and to like settle in and work out where stuff is and say hello to everyone there. So he left a little bit earlier today um, than we were expecting. And I was like, you know what? Rather than just waiting like another three hours, I'm just going to stream now. You're on TV. Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's too large. I am too large on the TV. My goodness. But yeah, I was like, rather than just waiting another three hours, I'm just going to stream now. So here we are. Here we are. I really want to open these cards. They've been staring at me for like a week now. And I really want to open them. So we're just going to do it. Why not? We have quite a f Well, not quite a few. We have a couple cards to open today. This is probably going to be a shorter stream. Um, it's probably only going to be like an hour long. There's not a whole lot of cards. Um but I wanted to open them all now rather than waiting until like mid-late October for the rest to come out. My scrunchie today is pink mushrooms. It's not a Pokemon one today, but it's cute little mushrooms. Um, but yeah, because there's a couple boxes that came out, some tins and boxes that released like a week or so ago. But then there's also the first of the new set has come out, the 151 set. Uh, which is based around, obviously, the original 151 Pokemon from Kanto. Hi, Ellie. How you doing? Why does no one sleep here? Why is Bugs. everyone... Fucking Christ. <laughs> that was a lot. That was a lot all at once. Bloody hell. Uh, but yeah, the first of the 151 set released this Friday. It's so funny that you know. Please sleep at some point. It's 1.30 a.m. Jeez. So you're only like an hour behind Loon. Wow. You people disappoint me. <laughs> but yeah, the rest of the set, because we've got today from the 151, the booster bundle, which is six packs, and the elite trainer box. The rest of the set, so all the other boxes and everything, don't release until mid-late October, because they all got delayed. <laughs> Right. So these are the actual only two things that we have from 151. And I didn't want to just sit them there and wait until late October to open the rest. So I was like, we'll open these couple things and these couple other tins now. 
and then late October when the rest of it comes, we'll open the rest in one big bunch. And that'll probably be a longer stream. That'll be like a two hour card opening. But these I reckon are only going to take us about an hour to get through. I'm a vampire. Don't hate. I'm not. We don't discriminate. I'll rest soon until mother arrives home from work. Good, good, good. Good, good. A collectible. Actually, I do have something new to show you. Bear with me. I knocked my desk. Don't worry. It's not like super new. I've had it for a little bit now. I think I posted it in the Discord when I first got it. But it's been in the bedroom. And I finally moved him into my office. So we have him here with us. It's the sleeping Kirby. Let me show you on the big camera. It's sleeping Kirby. Is that Goku? No. Wrong. <laughs> but yeah, he was in my bedroom. But uh, I cleared out space in here. So he sits on the couch there with Gengar. You probably saw me getting him, actually. But yeah, he is sleeping. He's quite hefty, too. Like, this is, this is a weighted guy. But I love him. He is deep in slumber. He's my favorite. He's really nice. So, yeah. This is the new Corb. I've had him for probably like a month or two now, but yeah, like I said, he wasn't in this room. I wanted him to be in this room, but I had too many other plushes in this room. Um, but I'm getting rid of some of my Squishmallows and plushes and stuff. Just ones that I don't really vibe with anymore or that I don't have the room for anymore. So we cleared out space for Corbs. And there he is. He's sleeping with Gengar. They are back. Oh. oh, the Pikachu with ramen. That's a global emote. Oh, hell yeah. But yeah, I doubt it will be a super long stream today. It's probably only going to be like an hour. Because we don't have a bunch of cards to open. But I really wanted to open them now. Rather than wait until late October. So then when the rest of the 151 set comes out late October, we'll open it all then. Because I've pre-ordered one of everything. Let me actually double check what there is coming out. So I've got the Ultra Premium Collection, the Poster Collection, the Binder Collection, the Zapdos Box, the Alakazam Box, and all 10 of the Mini Tins as well. But none of them come out to like, yeah, mid-late October. I was checking... The EB Games website, thank you. <laughs> yeah. So when they all come out, we'll do a big, like, two-hour opening of all of them. But I didn't want to wait that long to open all these. So we're opening them now. A pin's falling off my pin board. There we go. So let's crack into it. We don't have a whole lot, but I am excited. Oh, one last thing as well. Um, we do have an offline follow, so Vesuvian G, thank you very much for the follow. I appreciate it. Let's get a move and let me show you what I have. So obviously we have the 151 stuff, the booster bundle. So this is just six booster packs. Since 151 is like a novelty set, they're not releasing it in single boosters. So that's like a really good value way of getting the packs. And then the Elite Trainer box, of course, has the nine packs in it. We'll save them till last because they're the brand new exciting set. Um, but there's also a couple other things as well. We have this Crown Zenith box. She's a bit late to the party. Uh, but Lugia and Unknown. I couldn't pass up on this one. Lugia is my second favorite legendary Pokemon. So I definitely could not pass up on that. And then we also have the Paldea starter tins. Says they come with five packs each. I'm not sure what kind of packs. I'm going to assume Scarlet, Violet, and Paldea Evolved. But there's the Miascarada. There's the Skeledurge. And the Quaxacuavel. 
So we'll probably do the tins first, then the Lugia box, and then we'll finish with 151. Um, because the 151 stuff is like special and new and fancy. So we'll save that till last. Ew, what is that? Disgusting. Nemecop? Gnome cop? What is that? What is that? That's not a word. All the fucking cards. There we go. All the fucking cards. Let's open them. That's very Australian. <laughs> All the fucking... It's also... Oh, what was that about? <laughs> what was that about? Are we all still here? Let me refresh my browser. FBI, open up! <laughs> I broke it. It was like the second I turned the aircon on. That was really weird. This is why I don't like using Ethernet. <laughs> I'm plugged into the Ethernet cable right now. And it feels like every time I do that, we crash. But we reconnected, which means everything's fine. Everything's fine. Usually that's better, right? It's supposed to be. But the reason I stopped streaming with Ethernet cause, was because whenever I did, we would keep crashing, which is very strange because it's not supposed to do that. I don't know. I'm just not going to touch anything from now on. You know what it might have been? The aircon remote was like sitting underneath the Ethernet cable, so it probably moved it and like jostled it out of the port on my computer. Anyway, we're going to ignore that. Everything's fine. We're all still here. Wonderful. So we're going to open some cards. We're going to start with the tins. Ah. Uh... Scissors. <laughs> Scissors is a good idea. Let me grab them. Oh shit. Okay. Scissors. I'm going to do it down here. So that I'm not just like stabbing things on camera. Hold on. I won't break the scissors this time. These are some heavy duty scissors. Look at this. I'm still upset about that. I went looking all over town to find another pair of those scissors and I could not find a pair similar. To be fair, those scissors were many years old, so they probably just don't make scissors like that anymore. But I was so upset. I'd had those scissors for so many years. I'm glad to see you again too, Ellie. Oh, while I'm opening these, you have these ones too. I think I got them from Big W. They were like nine bucks. I was expecting them to be a bit more expensive if I'm being honest, but also nine dollars for scissors is kind of wild. Um, yeah, while we're here opening these, may as well have a little chat about streaming stuff. Um, obviously I've posted updates now on what the go is gonna be. I've talked about it a couple times, but since we're officially here, um, we've all seen the schedule for this week. From now on, I want to schedule at least three streams a week. Um, some weeks there will be the possibility for four. I'm not going to schedule four every single week um, just because I don't want to overwhelm myself and like burn myself out. But there's the possibility of four. I will be doing at least three streams a week though. Um, sometimes evening streams, they'd probably be a little bit later than this. But evening streams occasionally as well as the usual morning ones I'll keep doing of course on my days off, but it does mean that sometimes, even on days I work, um, I can stream in the evenings, maybe like Thursdays, because I finish er work pretty early on Thursdays. Um, and then, yeah, I want to do more events in the Discord as well. It's like watch parties and stuff of like movies and animes and things. Um, maybe even like some game nights and stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm a little nervous. It's going to be weird to be alone, like, all week. But I'm going to make sure I keep myself busy. I've got plenty of people to talk to now. Um, 
So I think it'll be fun. I'm excited to to do more content stuff and to stream more and to do more in Discord and things. So I think it will be good. Grubbin, hello. Ooh. Sorry, I'm fucking with my audio jacks. Hello, Grubbin. How are you doing? You're just in time. We are about to open up the Paldea Partner tins and find out what packs are in these because I actually don't know. I'm also going to have a sip of water. Sick. Put my water bottle there. We have the Minecraft water bottle today. Wonderful. Wonderful. All right, let's crack these open. Let's start with Quaxaquable because he's my least favorite of the starters. So we'll start with the Quaxaquable. And yeah, we'll see what packs are in these. It says there's five, um, but I don't know of what. I'm going to assume Paldea Evolved and Scarlet and Violet Base. We'll have to wait and see. We have Code Card. We have the Quaxaquavel EX. Let's go. Hell yeah. Are these? Okay, they are promos technically. I was wondering, because sometimes they do the Black Star promos and then other times in tins like this, they just make it like a bubble hollow. But this is a proper Black Star promo. Sweet. Sleeve him up. Good old Quaxaquavel. And then, okay, so we have two Obsidian Flames, a Scarlet and Violet, a Silver Tempest, and an Astral Radiance. Bloody hell. They're still printing Astral Radiance. Jeez. I'm kind of over the Sword and Shield cards, if I'm being quite honest. I just went through, actually, yesterday, um, all of the bulk cards I had, and I, like, sorted them out and stuff to get ready to send away. Um, so I, all my doubles and that sort of thing, I keep, and then when I get, like, enough and my desk gets full, I sort them all out and I send them off to bulk buyers. Um, get a little bit of money for them, save some going in the trash and that sort of thing. And there was like a bunch of Silver Tempest and Astral Radiance and Brilliant Stars and stuff in there. And I'm kind of over them at this point, honestly. The pull rates are so garbage in like these later Sword and Shield sets. And I'm like decent enough way through my sets now where I'm just waiting for prices to drop, I suppose, on like the secret rares and stuff. We got a doggy! Hell yeah, is it the new puppy? Uh, is Black EX card now last design, or is it still that type of style? This one. So, I, the EX, I actually think started... God, when would the EX cards have started? Probably would have been around, like, black and white. Um, and then they changed to GX, and then they went to V and V-Star for Sword and Shield. And now they've brought back the EX. Which I don't know why. Very interesting. Is the new puppy? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Black cards for Sword and Shield Den. The black cards... Black cards. Like the code cards? I think I have a few to show. Go ahead. I, I'm i not thinking of any. How dare you bonk me. How dare. Alrighty. One Scarlet Violet. Two Obsidian Flames. Astral Radiance. Silver Tempest. We're going to open all three of the tins. And then we will open all the packs from them. So we have Skeledurge, Rubbish, Code Card, we'll grab another Sleeve, oh boy, alright, bloop bloop bloop, get in there, Skeledurge EX, hell yeah, all the bonks. Two Obsidian, one Scarlet Violet, Silver Tempest, Astral Radiance. Okay, so they're going to be the same in each tin. Sometimes they put like a different pack in one of the tins, but no, these ones are going to be all the same. Oh, Jesus, and that one doesn't want to close. And then last but not least, 
Masquerada. God, the dogs are going off at something this afternoon. Not happy. I don't know what about. Masquerada EX. They've all got that star hollow pattern as well. I kind of like the star hollow pattern, but I see why people complain about it. It does look kind of cheap. I can't lie. They're cool promos, though. Silver Tempest, Astral Radiance. Cool! And then I'm pretty sure the, un the Lugia box is all Crown Zenith. Yes, it looks like all Crown Zenith. Crown Zenith was like the best Sword and Shield set because you actually pulled shit from it. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Let's start with, I think Astral Radiance came first. So we'll start with the Astral Radiance. We have three. Let me move some stuff around. Make some room. There we go. Alrighty. Yeah, we got the Crown Zenith, Lugia, and Unknown box. Like you me, Hell yeah. MKTN, thank you for the follow. Why did my chat message not pop up? Is that chat bot down? For fuck's sake. I tested it before stream and it worked. Actually, you know what? It's because we disconnected. It does that every time. All right, bear with me a sec. I can't see chat here for a second. I'm just logging back into my stream elements. Um, SMS code, please. Sweet. Because fucking OBS disconnected. It like turned my chatbot off. Okay. Logging back in. Hopefully it works. Pretty sure this is what I did last time. Box was cool. Haven't seen that before. It probably came out like two, three weeks ago? Oh, the VV Max cards. Gotcha. Yeah, no, they were Sword and Shield era. I think you can still, like, pull some of them occasionally, but yeah, they've gone back to the EX cards now. Yeah, and the um... Sweet, I think we're working again. Cool, we're working again. Apologies about that, everyone. Uh, but MKTN, yes, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in. First 151 rips. Yes, we're opening the Paldea Partner tins right now. And then we have the Crown Zenith Lugia box. And then we do have the Booster Bundle and the ETB. So this will be my first opens of 151. I was going to wait because the rest of the collection doesn't release till like mid to late October. I was just going to hold everything, wait, and open them all up at once, but I couldn't wait. So I decided we'll open these couple things now. We'll open like the ETB of 151, and then when the rest of 151 comes out October, I'll just open them all then. Got my ETBs in yesterday, and I couldn't resist. You got the Pokemon Center ones? I'm jealous. I get all my stuff from EB Games, so <laughs> I don't get the special ones. Uh, but yeah, Ellie, no, the Silver Borders. We'll actually, we'll open this Astral Radiance pack. So all English Pokemon cards up until 2023 have all been Yellow Borders. Um, but when Scarlet and Violet released, they're making the cards more in line with how the Japanese cards look. So instead of like a set symbol down the bottom, they're just numbers. Um, and then the borders now are all silver instead of yellow as well to match the Japanese cards, which I think is cool. The silver borders definitely make the cool cards look cooler. The yellow border did cheapen them down a little bit, 
Yes, I'm getting one of everything. So we've got the UPC, Alakazam, Zapdos, the poster box, the binder box. I think there was one other thing as well. I could be wrong, but yeah, I'm getting one of everything. So we will have a lot to open. Ratata never leaves. Ratata has never left us and probably never will, unfortunately. All right, white code card. And then it is going to be a big opening. This one I reckon will only take us about an hour tonight because there's really not many cards to get through. But that big 151 opening in October, that's going to be like at least two hours. I'm really excited for it, especially that UPC. I've already gone ahead and bought one of the like magnet card holders for that metal, the metal Mew. I'm excited. I'm really glad I was able to get one. Alrighty. What was this? Astral Radiance. We have Yen Mega, Kranidos. What does that even say? Cancelling Cologne. Yenma, Hootoot, Cricketot, Sudawudu, Combi, Reverse Typhlosion, and Regirock. Absolute fucking garbage. That's fine. I'm not expecting to pull anything from these tins, if we're being quite honest. The tins never bring good things. We should know this by now. We should all be well aware of this. Another white code card. A chase command? I do not, unfortunately. We have a hype command? When we pull something good. No. What are the chases in 151? I'm pretty sure it's the alt art Charizard, obviously. All the Charizards. Uh, I know the alt art War Turtle's been fetching some all right money. And the Golden Mew, of course. They're going to be the big ones. It's always the damn Zards. Erica, actually, she has been, she's been doing well. Braviary. Disgusting. Most of the Sword and Shield sets, honestly, I'm like a good 60% of the way through. I'm just, I'm not bothering to go and try and master many of the Sword and Shield sets right now. I want to wait for the prices to drop on them a bit more because there's quite a few secrets I'm missing from some of the sets. So I'm just going to wait for the prices to drop. I'm trying to complete some of my black and white and X and Y era sets, but I'm struggling to find the singles. Because the problem is the cards I need are all just reverse hollows and like common cards. I've got all of the big hitters from those sets, so no one has them lying around. I'm going to have to go on like Troll and Toad and stuff and just buy them, which sucks. Zapdos and Alakazam? Probably. All just like your really popular 151 cards. The striped shirt in the webcam. <laughs> Bless me. The striped shirt in the webcam looks kind of weird. I didn't even realize that. Thank you. The Poliwell, he looked cool, actually. I went through the um the set because I have one of those like Pokemon app collector apps on my phone. I went through and had a sneak peek at the cards last night. They're really cool. <laughs> They've got probably some of my favorite Pokemon card art to date. Like, even just your common cards and shit, the colours are so bright and they look so smooth and just really well done. <laughs> um... <laughs> so, anyway... <laughs> Hello! Rainbow Samurott V-Star. Um, I opened two ETBs, got a full art Erica and the Zard. Oh my god. I would have sobbed. Wow. <laughs> I know I don't have this one. So this is good. This is good. I didn't do my disclaimer. <clears throat> um, our usual disclaimer for when we open Pokemon cards. I'm not a scalper. I buy one of everything and I leave the rest for everyone else. I collect Pokemon cards for my own personal enjoyment and to complete my own personal sets. Leave me the fuck alone. Anyway... <laughs> I do not have this card yet, so this is very good. I'm very pleased with this. I have no words. 
I have no words. I never expect to pull anything, and I feel like at this point I should. We haven't had a bad Pokemon card opening in like a year. Whatever it is, when I open packs off stream, they're such garbage pulls. But the second I turn the camera on, I pull like all the secret, all the chase cards you can imagine. I've pulled like the big chase card from every single set that's released this year. It's been wild. Might as well as be pegged by Jesus fucking Christ. We're not setting a good first impression here, are we? Anyway, everyone divert your eyes to the Rainbow Samurott V-Star. What a beautiful, magnificent guy. Hisuian Samurott is so cool. Honestly. Samurott, best universe starter. Best universe starter. Um, we're moving on to Silver Tempest, by the way. But Hisuian Samurott, best Legends Arceus starter. 100%. S tier for sure. Best starter. I'm such an Oshawott boy, honestly. I don't think any of the universe starters are bad, honestly. Embor's bad, but Tepig's cute. Why are the, the two quotes we've just pulled <laughs> were both about God? Why? God of War, get out of here. Why? <laughs> this is a Christian sh It's absolutely not, believe me. He's watching and he's disappointed in us. He is disappointed. I feel like if this was a Christian scream stream, fuck off trees. Yeah, there we go. We're back on track here. Energy. I'm going to give myself a paper cut doing that one day. Jesus. Glalie. The chunkiest of guys with the weird eyes. I wish I remembered where that was from. So many of these quotes, I have no idea where they're from. Honestly? Some of them concern me. I really do just be saying some shit, huh? It's feedback. What's happening tonight? I was going to say, is Feebas dead? But, oh, I think I already have this one, actually. I can't lie. Braviary. I don't remember if I have the request wow! already. Wow, indeed. Hell yeah. It's the perfect time for Mudkip. Hell yeah. I am shooketh. Excuse me. <laughs> Arceus did not come to play today, speaking of God. The black and gold and green look so fucking cool, though, right? I was just going to say that. They need to do more of these black and gold cards. Could you imagine if instead of the regular, if instead of the regular, like, secret rare gold cards, or hyper rare, I should say, if instead of the hyper rare gold cards, they did black and gold? They would look so much cooler. So much cooler. This guy is sick. <laughs> I have a feeling I already have him, but he is very cool, nonetheless. Definitely. Like, mm, I guess I don't necessarily have a problem with the gold cards and, like, the rainbows, because they've gotten rid of these rainbow ones now as well. I didn't necessarily have a problem with them. But black and gold would look a lot nicer. Oh my god, Luz, hello. How are you doing, lovely? Welcome in. I'm doing good today. It's been a very good week, just in general. It's been a very good weekend. The house is clean. We're decluttered. I did a lot of sorting. It's just been really good, honestly. I'm feeling good today. Glad they got rid of the rainbows. I think I preferred the rainbows to the golds, but I definitely see the contention with them. It's Rot's Rockstar? Rockstar. I don't know why I struggled with that so much. Welcome. I have a Giratina V-Star rainbow. I'm jealous. I didn't pull any of the Giratina chase cards from Lost Origin. And we have probably opened like 70 or 80 packs of that set now. And I haven't pulled a single... I pulled, like, the standard V Giratina, and that was it. The Growlithe, right? 
He's so happy. He's just frolicking. The trainer rainbow cards I can understand. Yeah, I had a whole booster box. Um, obviously, just like buying boxes and stuff like this over the course of like the last however long it's been of that set. I pulled the standard V of Giratina and that was it. I didn't pull any of the chase cards of him. Which is very disappointing. Because Giratina is sick. Alright. We're going to move on to the Scarlet and Violet base packs now. We're going to go, we're going in like chronological release. So we'll do these couple Scarlet and Violet and then we'll do the Obsidian Flames. And then we'll open this Crown Zenith box. Oop, no pack trick with Scarlet and Violet. I almost forgot. Energy. Uh, pneumonia, as I call her. Lechonk. Flabebe. I might just for a second. There we go. The fucking the Aerodactyl? Yes, I know the I know the one you're talking about. I know the one you're talking about. That was such a cool card as well. I think I'd rather have Rainbow. Yeah. Than the terrestrialization. That there's some cards that it looks really cool in. Like that, the Arcanine EX from, I think it was base set. Like some of them look cool, but I don't know. I do really love though the reverse holo design of the new gems. Yeah, that's the one. The reverse holo design is... Really cool. It reminds me a lot of the Sun and Moon era reverse holo design, which I really love. I think they're super duper pretty. I keep getting excited because we've got the black code cards, but all the Scarlet and Violet packs are black now because they're all hollows. Energy. Honk. Straighten this guy back up. Bishop. Riolu. Go Goat. Scatterbug. Ms. Mesogoza. I can't read today. Heracross, Defiance Band, Reverse Magikarp, Reverse Rever Room, and Professor's Research. Like the 70th Professor's Research card I have pulled. Alright, well we've exhausted all our luck today, apparently. We've pulled two chase cards already. We have exhausted all of the luck. Magnemite, Energy Switch, Varum, Kalauncha, Mousehold, Crocola, Florgis, Fido, Pokeball, and Clawf. Saving it for 151, I hope. I hope so. If we run out of luck before 151, I've heard that the pull rates in 151 are absolutely abysmal. So many people are saying, like, I bought an ETB and my hit card was a reverse holo energy. Or like, I pulled one V card. I've heard such abysmal stories. I've pulled amazing. That's good. Hopefully the luck transfers. Hopefully. We have six obsidian flames packs to open. No. Not. That's what I'm going to do when I pull a Charizard. Because see, we go through this every time. Like, oh, I'm not expecting anything. The pull rates are terrible. Blah, blah, blah. And then fusion strike. Alt Art Mew. Um, Shining Fates. I know I didn't stream when Shining Fates came out, but I pulled the Shiny Charizard three separate times. Um, what else have we pulled great recently? Pokemon Go, we pulled the Alt Art Mew too. I bought it. I am so sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. We've been pulling great like every single set that comes out we've pulled like the highest chase card if not the second or third highest i've seen some good etbs but i've seen lots where it's like one to two hits yeah i'm seeing a lot of the reverse hollow energies the celebi oh my gosh i am nervous to open 151 honestly I'd say our chances of pulling anything good today are low just because we don't have many packs. But I'm really hoping for the good luck when we do that big opening. I'm so excited for the rest of it. Because originally, half of the set was supposed to come out 
like this week, this month, alongside the ETB and the booster bundle. But they all got delayed. So now it's all mid to late October. So we're going to have to wait till the end of October to open the rest of 151. And I can't wait that long with this elite trainer box sitting right beside me. I have to do it now. They're about one in three packs. That's disgustingly high. Why are the pull rates of the energies that high? I almost dropped it. I almost dropped the Obsidian Flames. What are the chase packs in Obsidian? Or the chase cards in Obsidian Flames, actually? It's probably a Charizard. That was a dumb question. Of course it's a Charizard. Surskit. Duramica. Froki. Bounsweet. Whizcash. Floatzel. My baby boy. Rockruff. Grievard. And Palafin. Zard. Yep. The only hollows we've pulled have been Palafin, Scizor, and Professor's Research. I'm going to lose my mind. I just put these in the wrong pile. Hold on. <laughs> I was putting these in the wrong pile. I set my piles by set so that when it comes to sort them for bulk, it's easier. I just set these in the wrong pile. Okay, there we go. Pidgeot and the rest of the Pidgey line. Oh yeah, no, I remember that one. I know there was one trainer that everyone really liked. I can't even remember now. I know we did decently when we opened Obsidian Flames. We pulled a Charizard. I don't remember which one, though. I think we pulled, like, two of the V-Stars. Which are the standard ones. Time Pole Reverse, Herdia Reverse, and a Clay Doll. A, a different holo. I'll take it. 197. Perfect. Two more Obsidian Flames. My bin's getting full. Energy, Froki, Duramica, Weasel, Bounsweet, Marwile, Buffalant, Crabominable, Reverse Scyther, Reverse Diggersby, and a Toxtricity. Don't know if it's still the same, but at one stage the top four cards were all the Zards. Yeah, that, that would be about right. That sounds correct. Alright, last Obsidian Flames. Are we going to pull anything? Who knows? Probably not. Duramica, Buizel, Espeon, Floatzel, Whizcash, Reverse Eevee, A, Lavatar, and Scovillain. A, we got the Lavatar illustration card. What is he eating? Dirt. Good for him. I know they eat dirt because they're rock types, but I like to think he's eating dirt because he's just a dumb little baby. That's my head cannon. Look at that face and tell me there's a singular thought behind those eyes. Because there's none. There's not. He's so cute, though. He's snacking on that dirt like his life depends on it. Good for him. A last pack. Right? That's why I had to double check. It looks like he was eating shit. Okay. It's time for this guy. The only reason I was excited for this was because of the Lugia. I always thought it was grass when I was younger. I mean, but he's green, so, like, it makes sense. Yeah, he's a rock type. Oh, this is going to be one of those ones where it's got really Watch good profanity. Glue. Fuck. No got really good glue and I go to open it and then I break my scissors. We all know what happens here. No, Lugia is my second favorite legendary Pokemon, just behind Suicune. So I am very pleased to have this box. I still have not pulled the alt art Lugia from, I think it's Silver Tempest, which is very sad. 
because that card was very pretty. I pulled like every other instance of Lugia from that set, just not that particular one. All right, plop. Let me do that. Eight. We have who's on this coin? Lugia, of course. It was very hard to make out for a second. We have a Lugia, can go there. Let me get some sleeves. What did I miss? Nothing. Nothing. We're just cracking open the Lugia and Unknown box now. We finished up with the Paldea tins. All right. So we have the Unknown V, which is actually quite a cool card. This is very pretty. I don't like the way the blue coin looked at me. Here, do it again. Side eye. It's actually quite a cool unknown. I can't even lie. And the Lugia V. Now, this is a sick card. This is really cool. Also, these cards look so crisp. The way I have, like, the saturation and the sharpness. Never seen a V-letter Pokemon. When did V start? Vs were Sword and Shield as well. V and V-Star. I don't know what it means. But, you know. And there's the Jumbo version as well. One, two, three, four, five packs of Crown Zenith. And, of course... A Lugia pin. V cool, V rare. You know what? That's what it stands for. V rare. The Lugia pin, who will of course be going on my pin board. It's been a while since I've shown you guys my pin board, actually. She's updated now. Hold on. Let me get these backs off. You gotta sort of twist and pull at the same time. And then I have this little bag that I keep all the backs of my pins in. So that if I ever need to put them back on the pins for whatever reason, I have them. All right, let me grab my pin board. It's heavy now. Ow, I just stabbed myself. This is how the pin board's looking. It's not all Pokemon, obviously. There's lots of miscellaneous pop culture things on here. Most of it's Pokemon now, though. But yeah, it's coming along really nice. Where should we put the Lugia? I'm thinking maybe like here. Or like here. It's a bit cluttered there, maybe. I'm going to go here. Bloop. And it's just cork. So they just sit in. Hell yeah. The key is to just, I'm like balancing it. Up my desk. There we go. Hell yeah. All right. Five packs of Crown Zenith. I don't know what I'm still needing from Crown Zenith, actually. We pull... The pull rates in this set were absolutely insane. That's a wonderful cork. Cork board. Calc, if you will. Yeah, Crown Zenith had absolutely crazy pull rates. We've pulled so much from this set. All right, energy. We got Leron, Rare Candy, Carnivine, Cricketoon, no, Cricketot, Jatot, Mr. Mime, Sunkern, Bidoof, Reverse Cherubi, and a Dubwool. A Dubwool for a dud card. <laughs> I'm just gonna pull the tripod, there we go. Blech. Open up this one. The plastic on these feels really thin, though. Dog water, absolutely. Energy. Salazzle. Pokemon Catcher. Graveler. Corefish. Energy Search. Scyther. Riolu. Young Goose. Reverse Girafferig. And Dragalge. Maybe we did use up all of our luck. I'm starting to think we did, and it's all gone. 
<laughs> it's all gone. If we can't pull from Crown Zenith, we're doomed. I can't even open this pack. My gosh. We're doomed if we can't pull from Crown Zenith. V Star card. Soul Rock, Lunatone, Crocorock, Aaron, Corefish, Energy Search, Scyther, Riolu. Hey, Radiant Charizard. There we go. And a Zorua. See, that's the problem with Cran Zenith, is it was so good, I can't even be excited about a Radiant Charizard anymore, because I pulled like five of these. I had so many of this godforsaken card that I can't even be excited about it anymore. Still cool we get a hit, though. But I would like a better hit now, thank you. A better hit, if we can. One, two, three, four to the front. Energy. Charizard is a sign. I hope so. He has to summon his Charizard friends. Hard flexor. It's not even a flex. Radiant Charizard was not a high value card at all. That is, though. <laughs> okay. Oh, shit. He brought his friends. Oh, God. Okay. Deep breaths, everyone. Deep breaths. <laughs> Deep breaths. Charizard V-Star. Again, I did pull quite a few of. But I told him to bring his Charizard friends, and he did, so I can't actually be mad at him. This, though. This is a card I do not have in my set yet. This was one I was missing. No. <laughs> you said it. You said it, not me. Sarah Aura. This is such a cool card. This is so pretty. I can't tell what's happening. But it's really pretty. Hell yeah. I'm chuffed with that. I'll take that. I will more than gladly take that from Grand Zenith. It's good when you pull a hit but it's even better when you pull a hit that you didn't already have. When it's not a double. Energy. Last Crown Zenith. Salazzle. Pokemon Catcher. Graveler. Love Disc. Chatot. Yanma. Porniard. Cricketot. Yanma. And double. Awesome. You gotta shit talk to get the good ones, right? Sometimes you just gotta complain, you know? Gives anime MC vibes? It does. I hate that you've said that. And I hate that you're right. <laughs> I love it. Do you guys know what this means? It means it's 151 time. I'm really excited. Do we do the ETB first or the booster bundle? I think we do the... ETB first. If I can open it without scissors. Just gotta really get in there. There we go. Alright. Pokemon card ASMR. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh, this is a cool box. This is a cool box. I might keep this box, actually. Oh, I didn't mean to smack you. I'm sorry. This book's paper. This is made of paper. Normally the books are made of like, you know that like the stuff that magazines are made out of? Like it's not paper. It's like a slick paper plastic. That's normally what these are made out of. But this is proper just paper. That's kind of cool actually. Good for them. Honestly, that's kind of cool. Why haven't they done that sooner? Even I'm getting one of these. Don't have high expectations, though. This is a pretty cool box. I don't always keep the boxes. Like, a lot of the times, these and the tins I'll use to put my bulk cards in when I send them off so that they're protected in postage. Some tins and boxes I keep because I store, like, my sleeves and my dice and stuff in them. This box I think I might keep. This is cool. Snip the tip. 
Short, simple, to the point. You know? Concise. All right. We have the sleeves. These are also pretty cool sleeves. Let me kill you, please. Jesus. No, thanks. You're right. I, hey, at least I asked. I asked politely. I used my manners. And you've said no, and I'll respect that. Pack of energies. Have the dice, which are actually quite boring. <laughs> Is there no deck dividers? Oh no, here they are. We got the markers, of course. The deck dividers. Have our packs. Ooh, don't spill them everywhere. All right, so there should be nine here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I always like to count them just in case we got shafted. Just in case. Alrighty. Quick ad notice, everyone. An ad is popping up in little over 30 seconds. Um, for anyone not subscribed, you are going to go into ads. I'm not going to open any of the packs while the ad is playing, though. So don't worry about missing any pulls. All I'm going to do is unwrap the booster bundle and pull the packs out of it. But we're not going to open any packs while you guys are gone. So don't stress. Um, 12, 11, 10 seconds for ads, just so we're all aware. I'm just going to crack this open. Fuck yeah. How do you open this? Oh, it's a slide. Okay. So are the ads playing? I can't tell. All right. I am just going to open this though. Pull the packs out of it. Sweet. Throw that out. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Sweet. All right. I'm going to separate them so we know which packs were from the booster bundle and which were from the ETB. So we can talk about pulls. I don't got ads. That's weird. It gave me the countdown. I have two countdowns though. Because so it gave me the little chat pop up. There's another countdown for 40 seconds, though, for pre-rolls. <laughs> there it is. There's the ad. There's the ad. He just took a second. He just took a second to catch up. I will stay here for now. Make sure we don't open anything. Sweet. Should be coming back from the ads now. Let me know when everyone's back. When you can see me again and hear me again. We're back. Wonderful. Hello again, sweet. I f Pokemon plushes? Just a couple. Just a couple. I used to have a lot more. I got rid of a bunch earlier in the year. Um, well, obviously, the Gengar Squishmallow would probably, I say, have to be my favorite. Um, but also the Dratini. Let me grab him. Yeah, Gengar Squishmallow, and then this little Dratini. I think this guy's really cute. His tail's, like, sewn to him, but... Right? Because he's on the shelf all by himself as well. I meant, I've also started displaying some of my steel books in that cube shelf as well. I want to put, um... My Switch steel books in there as well. Yeah. He's probably my next favorite. 
aside from Gengar. I don't know why the ad countdown was so out of sync, though. That was very strange. But anyway, I just pulled the packs out of the booster bundle, and I've put them in a different pile to the ETB ones. So if we get any hits, we can compare which was better. Um, but also, in the ETB, comes with this Snorlax promo. He has a little baby Pidgey on top of him. And there's a Diglett, like, trying to dig through, but the Snorlax is blocking the way. Hell yeah. Yeah, there's a Snorlax over in the cubes as well. Behind the Wooloo. Hee <laughs> hee. Hell yeah. It's pretty cool, actually. I really like that all the ETBs come with promos now. And it's not just the special sets. I enjoy that. All right, let's get cracking. So that's 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 packs of 151. We're going to start with the packs from the booster bundle. See how we go with that. So we have six. And it looks like, like Crown Zenith as well, all the packs are just the same pattern. They're not like a different art on each. All right. The Snorlax Squishmallow, yes. I've seen they're also doing a Clefairy and a Teddy Ursa as well. I only got the Gengar one because I didn't really care about any of the other Pokemon. Um, but if they ever do an Eevee or like an, an Umbreon, oh my god. I'm still waiting for them to do the Umbreon Pop Vinyl. I have all my Pop Vinyls in the cabinet as well. It's the only Evolution pop vinyl they haven't done yet. So I'm waiting for it. For Kadabra. Right? Wasn't it only like a year or two ago that they were actually allowed to print Kadabra Pokemon cards again? Because they got that lawsuit back in the 90s. In 24 Days of Christmas pack? Ooh. No, I want the full-size one. Because I want to get two and paint one to be the shiny version. Yeah! Um. Teddy Ursa. Yeah, no, they're doing a... Don't know when. It's just a leak. It hasn't been, like, officially announced. But they're supposed to be doing Clefairy and Teddy Ursa. Which I think are good, good fits for Squishmallows. Here we go, 151. Yeah, because, yeah, they got a lawsuit back in the 90s. Some guy sued Pokemon, claiming that Kadabra, like, looked like him because he was, like, a magician as well and he had a mustache. And he actually won. So Pokemon hasn't been allowed to print any Kadabra Pokemon cards in, yeah, like, 20 years. Which is so dumb and so crazy, but it'll be cool. I'm excited. Okay. Everyone, Crossing Limbs, Rhyhorn, Tangela, Coughing, Psyduck. Ooh, Tauros looks cool. Kadabra, there he is. There's the boy. He's back. Ivysaur, he's so cute. This is the card I was looking at, actually. Like, he, Ivysaur looks so cute. Bulbasaur's the best Kanto starter, by the way. Hey, and this Mewtwo as well was another one I was looking at. He looks sick. He looks so freaking cool. Reverse Holo Do Duo. Holo Ditto. And Energy. Oh, the Mewtwo was a reverse holo. I was confused. I'm like, isn't that supposed to be two reverse holos? The Mewtwo was one. I just missed it. I right, holo ditto. I love him. Bulbasaur is, yeah, my favorite Kanto starter. Hands down. Definitely my favorite. And he's clearly the best, obviously. No, the whole line is so cool. I'm glad that people are starting to recognize that. Right? That Mewtwo is so cool. He looks awesome. Jiggly, jig I just had a fucking stroke. Jigglypuff? Ah, uh, yes, Charmander is. Star you? Speaking of, God, you guys are summoning cards today. Kadabra, Charmander, wow. 
Spiro, Nidorino, Golduck, Pinsa, Reverse Ponyta. Yo, it's the Nido King. Hell yeah, is this? Yeah, the illustration rare. Oh, he looks so cool. Can't fucking. And Hollow Dragonite. Sweet. Hell yeah. Oop, I've got sleeves falling everywhere. I'm a squirtle boy till I die. Bulbasaur all the way. Unlike Charmander and Squirtle, right? There's always like a bunch of Blastoise cards and a bunch of Charizard cards, but there's only ever like one Venusaur card in any given set. It's so sad. This Nido King's really cool. I really like that. If I had to choose, it'd be Bulbasaur, Squirtle, Charmander. In in order. I'm playing through Pokemon Blue at the moment, actually. And I picked Bulbasaur, of course. Hey! It's one of the hollow energies. Oh, and it's got a swirl in it. Cool. All right. We'll set that aside. Ekans. Cubone. Is there a rev like a hollow version of all of the energies? Because if there is, I might try and get one of each. <gasps> that Vulpix is so cute. Oh my gosh. He's adorable. Magnemite. Right? Just all the artwork in this set is so fucking pretty. It all looks so smooth and colorful and bright. And so lively as well. Ooh, reverse Haunter. I hate that they always draw the Gengar line in this art style, though. It's so ugly. Seeing the energies have to four swirls. Ooh. Like one in four packs. I might try and get one of each then. That'd be cool. Reverse Machoke. And, ooh, Kabutops. Kabutops is really cool, too. So many of the Gen 1 Pokemon are actually really cool. It's just people don't know how to fucking act with them. <laughs> All these Gen 1 elitists out here. They're cool. But, oh, it's the baby. And a grass energy, too. Look, look at how sweet he is. I love him. Slowpoke, me too, bud. Honestly. Me too. Growlith, the happy little guy. Geodude is terrifying. Hate that. Tentacruel. Looks like something you'd see in like an ancient temple. Carved into the wall. Kabutov ships shits all over Omastar. Absolutely. Kabutops is so cool looking. It's just like a fossilized scyther. Sandslash. Even the commons. That's, yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. I'm glad that they just made them all look nice. This is probably the best looking set, I think, so far out of Scarlet and Violet. Caterpie. Reverse Nido King and, ooh, Aerodactyl. This is such a cool Aerodactyl card, too. And it's just a standard holo, but it's so freaking cool. I love this set already. Such a big set, though. I was hoping being a holiday set that it'd be a bit smaller, but it's still over 300 cards. Like, if you include reverse hollows and stuff for a master, it's still over 300 cards, which is crazy. Clefairy. Machop. Porygon. Electabuzz. Polyrath. Pidgeot. Omanyte. Reverse Pidgey. Reverse Shelda. Ooh, there's a Charizard. We manifested a Charizard. Let's go, everyone. About 360. That's so many. I was hoping I'd be able to master it pretty easily, but I don't think so. Hell yeah. I'm not even a big fan of Charizard, but this card, this is a cool card. Best set since. I think out of all the Scarlet and Violet sets, it's my favorite. I don't know. 
What was the last set where I was like, whoa, this is so cool? Probably Lost Origin. Some of the art in Lost Origin was really nice. All right, last pack of the booster bundle. So, so far, what have we gotten? Two hits in the booster bundle. So five packs, two hits. So our sixth and final pack. Hey, it's another hollow. Is that one swirl? Two swirls? Swirl count. There's no Scarlet and Violet Pokemon in it, right? <laughs> what a funny time to do like a Kanto celebration set. Nidoran, Abra, Diglett, Drowsy, Graveler, Protective Goggles, Arcanine, Reverse Dome Fossil, Reverse Gengar. Like, I hate that so many sets in the past, like, year or two have drawn the Gengar line in this way, and I hate it. I think it's so ugly. Like, you could do so many cool things with the Gengar cards, and this is what you come up with. Disappoints me so much. I was hoping there'd be, like, a really cool old art Gengar in this, but... No. No, sadly. All right. So, two hits out of six packs in the booster bundle. Not bad, actually. Let's move on to the ETB. So we have nine packs left. Nine packs of 151. This pack was already half open. Wonderful. Wonderful. All right. <laughs> Another Bulbasaur, Dratini, whoops, Growlithe, Geodude, Erica's Invitation, Magneton, Nidoqueen, Reverse Dome Fossil again, Reverse Victory Bell, and a Starmie. Hell yeah. The plastics these packs are made with just feel so thin. Tomokazu, but I hate that Gengar, and Gengar's my favorite, right? Gengar's one of my favorite Pokemon, too. He's my second favorite Pokemon, and I haven't liked any of the Gengar cards that have come out recently, because they've all been in that art style. And, like, I think it looks cool. It's just every single one. And it's always like only with Gengar. And he looks so out of place in all of the sets. You could do such cool cards with Gengar. Radicate looks so silly. Magneton. Reverse Rigid Band. Reverse Cubone. Is he crying? Yeah. And Weezing. All right, ETB is not going well so far. <laughs> I'm getting nervous. <laughs> A, another one. No swell in that one. We've already got three of the different energies. Horsey, Abra, Diglett, Drowsy. F Fusion Strike was good. Was Gengar in Obsidian Flames? I don't remember. I don't remember, actually. Might have to look at that. Radicate. Reverse Moltres. Yo! Speaking of Alakazam earlier, here he is. Is this the... Yeah, this is the alt art. Fuck yeah. This is so cool. Oh, the texture on it's so pretty. Oh wow! yeah. And nasty little Gengar. Let me put this Alakazam in a sleeve because it's making me nervous. Hell yeah. It's probably my chase card of the set. Here you go. Now you can look at him. In all of his shiny glory. The texture on it looks so cool though. Like look at that. All speckly and shit. I want to stroke it so bad. <laughs> all of the packs are like this. 
not like every single one of them, but a lot of them are like that. And I know that this hasn't been resealed because I watched the staff members open the stock box and pull mine out. So I know it hasn't been resealed. It must just be, yeah, like a thin plastic they're using. Because a bunch of the packs so far have been like that. Only from the ETB, though. They were fine in the booster bundle. That's very strange. Venomoth. Rapidash. Nidorina. Reverse Protective Goggles. Reverse Giovanni's Charisma. And a hey, Jolteon! It's the baby! Jolteon, whilst not being my favourite evolution, was the first evolution that I ever used in a game. I like Jolteon. I think he's cool. I steal energy. Starting with a shoulder, a helix fossil, a slowpoke, a magma, a muck, Daisy's help, Venomoth, reverse Vulpix, reverse Poliwag, and Wigglytuff! Ay! Ay! I've seen a lot of people pull this Wigglytuff. Probably my favourite evolution besides Umbreon. Mine are Umbreon and then Vaporeon is my second favourite. It's kind of a cute Wigglytuff, though. I can't lie. It's kind of cute. He's just vibing, right? Where was the slowpoke? There he is. He's having a little float. Chonka, absolutely. Uh, do you think that the Pokemon Core is thinking about the community and maybe doing a little opening for more easier card opening? <laughs> you know what? You're right. It's not always about ourselves, huh? How many others are like that? That one's fine. Okay, maybe I'm overreacting. It was two of them then. Yeah, that one's fine. Two of them were already open in the ETB. But yeah, this does just feel like very thin plastic. Like, I'm having no trouble just ripping these open. I don't know if that's a good thing or not, but, you know. What are you going to do? Jigglypuff, Star You, the cards are safe, and that's all that matters. Spearow, Nido Queen, Victory Bell, Big Air Balloon, Reverse Pidgey, Reverse Dratini, and the Hollow Mewtwo. He does look so freaking cool. I'm too strong for the Pokemon cards. Call me Machoke, because I'm ripping these packs. They're, they're tearing quite easy, which I suppose is good. It's better than having to like absolutely shred them open. Metapod, Ponyta, Poliwag, Farfetch'd, Bill's Transfer. I don't know when the last time I s saw a Farfetch'd card actually either. It's kind of cool. Executor, Reverse Ekans, and Electrode. He looks so absolutely chuffed. Wow. Look at him. Two left. Two left until October. And not even just like early October, like the last week of October. I'm so excited to do that opening. A. It's another one. Two swirls. Two swirls. It's like a week more. Yeah, but it's the end of October. It's like literally a month away. So sad. Helix Fossil. Magma. Persian. Oh, that's cool. Apologies, my lord. No, October's going to be a big month, though. We'll definitely keep occupied. Excuse me. I'm not revealing the games we're playing for October yet. I already know what we're playing because I have set aside specific, specific really scary horror games for us to play for, for Spooky Month. 
Um, so I already know what we're playing, but I'm not going to reveal what they are yet. Because I think they're really cool. And I think that you guys should be really excited to see me play them as well. So I'm going to reveal them next week. Like, after our schedule for next week is done and I make the new schedule, then I'll reveal them. And I'm really excited. But definitely end of October, we'll do another big Pokemon opening for sure. For sure. Oh, he's so cute. Reverse Slowbro and Mr. Mime. Disgusting. Disgusting. Last pack. No, October's going to be a very good month. A very, very good month. Mr. Mime is Ash's dad confirmed. No, you're absolutely right. That's exactly what it is. Metapod. Ponyta. Poliwag. Are we crossing fingers? Are we crossing toes? Farfetched. Golbat. Leftovers. Persian. Reverse Hollow Zubat. Reverse Hollow Starmie. And Sabedril. <laughs> it's a beedrill. Okay, wonderful. <laughs> God, it's always so like underwhelming when the final pack is bad. Hey, no double ups on the energies though. I gotta head to sleep. Yes, thank you so much for coming and thank you for the follow and hanging out. I really, really appreciate it. Um, have a wonderful sleep. Have a great rest. We'll catch you next time. Thank you for your manifestation powers. It has been very helpful indeed. Very, very. So we've got the dark energy, the lightning energy, the water energy, and the steel energy. I might sleeve all of these, actually. I wasn't going to, but I will. We'll sleeve the energies. Why not? I think I do want to get one of each of the energies. I wonder if these show up actually in uh, my collector app. That'll be interesting. Sweet. We've got our four energies. We have our two hits from the ETB. Wigglytuff. And our... Alt Art Alakazam. We have our two booster bundle hits, Charizard EX, and our Nido King illustration card. Then we have our others. We have our Crown Zenith Zero Aura V Star, Crown Zenith Radiant Charizard, Crown Zenith Charizard V Star. We have, I'm pretty sure this, was it Obsidian Flames? I think so. Our Lavatar <coughs> illustration. Silver Tempest, our Rayquaza VMAX. And Astral Radiance, our Rainbow Samurott V-Star. I'm very pleased with the hits that we got today. I'm very, very pleased. I think that we've done quite a good job with them, actually. I'm fairly chuffed. And hopefully, in the future, when we open more 151, we can get even more pulls from them. So I'm just sorting them back into their piles. We can get even more pulls, better stuff, maybe another Charizard. But I'm super excited for that. So, yeah, like I said, next Pokemon card opening stream is going to be sometime late October when the rest of 151 comes out. Um, it'll definitely be a bigger opening than this. There's going to be a lot more to go through. But I'm really excited for that. Um, this coming week, we already have the schedule is up in the Discord if anyone's interested, as always. If there's any stream updates or anything like that in the future, I'll let you guys know there. The schedule is also posted in the schedule tab on my Twitch. Um, if you are curious, as well as we have my other socials there for anyone who's interested as well. Um, I have to work out what to do as a YouTube video this week. 
That'll be interesting, because I haven't thought that far ahead yet. Anyway, thank you all for hanging out with me today. I appreciate it. Um, so yeah, schedule for next week, like I said, is already posted. We have three streams. Three streams. Um, one of them, we are hopefully finishing Alice Madness Returns. Thank you. I think we're about halfway through Chapter 5 if not like two thirds and there's only six chapters total chapter six to my knowledge is also fairly short as well so i reckon we can finish alice this week um i also want to take a look at the resident evil 4 dlc separate ways i have that downloaded from what i've heard it's about four to five hours long so i'm not sure if we'll be able to smash it out all in one stream um but we're gonna give it a damn good shot and if we don't then we will quickly finish it off next week um and then what else more pokemon as well so we'll be playing uh more teal mask pokemon scarlet on friday i think we're actually also almost close to finishing the teal mask so we could i reckon finish off the story of the teal mask and then start working on our living decks I don't think we're going to get it like entirely finished because I have some trades and some evolutions and stuff to do. But I reckon we will be almost done Teal Mask this week as well. So we're really, we're wrapping up September all nice and tight. All the games we were playing, we're finishing off. Um, yeah, just wrapping everything nice up in a complete little bundle, ready to start fresh for October, um, which I'm really excited for. It's going to be a really big month. And it's going to be a very fun month. And I'm very, very excited. So yeah, that's the plan. Finish Alice. Almost finish Pokemon. Check out Separate Ways DLC. And then next week, October, we're going to start some spooky horror games that I am excited to play. I'm nervous because they're like really scary horror games. But I think it'll be fun. And then end of October, we'll open up the rest of the Pokemon 151 set. Fingers crossed it doesn't get delayed again. It shouldn't. It shouldn't, but you know. You know how it goes. There's always that chance. Always that chance. But without further ado, we are going to look at someone to go ahead and read out into. Who is live right now? Who have we got? You know what? I haven't gotten to raid Thigh in absolutely frickin' forever. Okay. We are going to raid Thylacine today. Um, the absolute sweetest person like I've ever met. She's so wonderful. Fellow Australian streamer. Um, variety streamer. Plays a lot of Souls-like games. Uh, so like the Dark Souls series. They're playing Lies of P at the moment. Uh, they do a lot of Hollow Knight. And they're also currently playing Breath of the Wild for the first time ever. So we are going to go raid into them. I like never get to raid them because I'm never live at this time. And I really want to. So that's what we're going to do. If you would like to tag along and say hello, you can copy and paste these raid messages here. The first one there is if you're a follower. The second one is if you are subscribed. If you're lurking and you want to continue to stay lurking, obviously, please feel free to. Uh, you don't have to announce yourself in chat if you don't want to. But please, everyone, if you could come along with the raid, um, it would mean a lot. I would really appreciate it. Plus, you get channel points for my channel as well to spend on all of our cool new sound redeems, which is wonderful. I'm so glad you had a good time, Ellie. Thank you all for hanging out with me today. It was really good to see you all. It was really good to see some new people as well. I have had a great stream. This has been good. It's so late. Please go to bed. <laughs> it's just about to hit 6 p.m. for me, actually. So we'll wrap up stream, give my dog dinner, and I'll make myself some dinner as well. But thank you all so, so much for hanging out with me today. I really, really appreciate it. Hopefully, I can catch you guys next time. Um, for some Alice. Three in the morning, yes, please do go to sleep. Get yourself some rest. Please do everyone come along with the raid. Um if you wouldn't mind. If you need to like raid and then run, that's totally fine. But please do come along with us. Thai will really appreciate it. I would really appreciate it. 
I'll get my eternal slumber. Not eternal, because we have to see you next stream. <laughs> if not next stream, we have to see you at some point. So no eternal slumber for you. Temporary slumber. That will do. But anyway, I'm going to wrap up and stop rambling. Thank you all again for hanging out with me. I really appreciate it. It's been a wonderful stream. We are raiding Thylacine, playing Zelda Breath of the Wild, first ever playthrough. Looks like they're having some trouble with their capture card, but we don't give a shit. We're going to go say hi. So please come say hello with us. I'll miss you guys too. I'll miss you too. Three more days until I stream next. Do not stress. Um... I want to do some more Discord events at some point as well. I might do like our first movie night or something this week. We'll have to see. So again, Discord, if you're not in there already, if you want to watch some spooky movies with us, um, maybe some anime, that sort of thing. Game nights. I'm not too sure. Basically, just anytime I get bored and lonely, I'll be hitting you guys up to do something. <laughs> You'll see a world full of imagination. Absolutely. Full of Pokemon plushes. <laughs> full of posters. Full of pins, all the fun stuff. Thank you all. I love you guys so, so much. Stay tuned for the raid. I will see you Wednesday next week, if not earlier in the Discord. Have a wonderful time zone. Stay safe, and I'll catch you guys next time. Goodbye.